Okay, so it's Monday after the Belgian Grand Prix. We are now here in the Netherlands, and this is one of the really good perks of, of working in Formula 1, because you actually do get a few days when you're traveling between races on double headers to come out here and have a look at some of the cities we actually travel to instead of just going straight to track. So, you know, we're taking a little walk in Amsterdam right now, and it's, it's a lovely place to be. Uh, and again, like I said, just, just a really good perk of being able to work in F1. One of, one of many, in fact. Is we're going to try and enjoy our day off today. And play beach, beach volleyball today, hopefully. So we've got to buy a ball first, and then prepare ourselves to go to the beach, um, find some friends, and hopefully enjoy ourselves. Who's with you? Um, Denzel's with me. Never played beach volleyball, so he's going to get taught today. And um, number one Gorka, who is obviously good at everything. <laughs> and we're going to enjoy ourselves. Thanks, how are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. What's, what's, what's going on here, my friend? So, currently doing the track scan, uh, scanning the, the texture of the surface. Um, got to scan various corners of the track. Um, just uh, helps us with our tyre choice, really. All good? Yeah, the radios are mint as usual. <laughs> mint. Wi Fi? Wi Fi good? Yeah, IT comes nearly every week. Of course we do. <laughs> Don't ask marketing Wi-Fi. No. Hey Brian, they use it too much. Well, IT? Oh, shocking. Show <laughs> my... There's a curve for you now, isn't it? Get the back of the queue, huh? Alex, Sergei. Hey, boy. Sergei. Hey, boy. This lovely girl that we met in Hungary, she wanted to give Alex and Nikki a present of stroop waffles. So the boys in the garage gave them to me to give to Alex and Nikki, which I did. Um, and the boys wanted to try and get her into the garage, but we weren't allowed. So I gave her one of the boys' a treat, which was like a big jacket cake. <laughs> And now she's here again, so we're going to go try and meet her and give her a little present. Hello! How are Now here we go. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. How's How are you? Going? Good. I'm good. A little cold. Oh, How are on. you? Good. Very good. Not cold. You're gonna give me too much attention up here. I'm trying to hide. Okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Morgan. 
Dag. Guten Morgen. Hallo. Check the flag has just been waved. Sadly, Nicky is out. Uh, not sure if he had some issues on his run there, but um, Alex, fortunately, good to keep soon. So let's see how he gets on in the next round. He's Q3 last week, so who knows this week, eh? Q2, which uh, to be honest, you know, we, we didn't really expect it was a, a hard one all weekend, so we um, did a really good job. I feel like, uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a tough one this weekend, obviously, the circuit doesn't stop quite like Spires, it's not like as, as nicely, but, um, you know, we're starting Q15 tomorrow, so, uh, you know, we can do something from there. People, people think they're looking the passenger seat because most drivers have. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he has red hair as well. Yeah, yeah. He died. Do you see it? You guys should film that guy. 
He literally looks like me. He's my doppelganger. I'm gonna hire him for all media duties. <laughs> That's probably how he's okay. got in the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ask him what's his day rate. You need more bags, Patrick? Uh, if I could have one or two more bags, that'd be good. What do you think? Is that the prettiest Oh, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Tell Alex he doesn't have to dress up. He, he, can, he can just stay in the motor room. Okay. I'll drive. I'll drive. Well, if yeah. you only did. Just about halfway through the Dutch Grand Prix. Nicky in last just made his second stop, so pushing back uh, towards the chasing pack. Alex, P16, yet to make his second stop. I think he's on another set of mediums, so he'll be looking to push forward as well. So, still plenty of opportunities to come. Let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> that was the race done with. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good race actually. I felt like we, we did a good job. It was a P12 at the end. Our pace was good for most of that race. Um, struggled a bit at the end, um, but the strategy and the safety cars didn't really play, in our, play into our favour. So, uh, yeah, that was all. I think um, you know, coming into this weekend, we didn't expect to be that competitive. Um, but for Zandvo, for the car we have, I feel like we've. Um, a good job and it shows that we are more flexible, um, what's the word, more adaptable than, than, than we maybe thought otherwise and uh, you know, obviously we're going to Monza next so uh, let's see what that does.